one way analysis of variance also known as ANOVA is a parametric test that assumes that all the samples are drawn from normally distributed populations with the same standard deviation or variance so you can use one way or one factor ANOVA when you want to see if the means of two or more different experimental groups are affected by a single factor your sample are drawn from normally distributed population with equal variance so if it's not normally distributed you can use the Kruskal wallace ANOVA as well so let's go ahead and start this so there are many ways that you can put your data in now let's go to analysis and then we are going to compare many groups because with the ANOVA you're comparing two or more. We've done the t-test and the rank sum test which compares two groups and then we have also done single group. So let's come in to test and then many groups and one way ANOVA. So it brings about this and we can have raw. So that's what we have. You can compare A and B, A, B, C, if you have D, E, so you can compare more. And then you can also have it in terms of the distribution. So you can have the size, the mean, the standard deviation or the standard error, which we have here. And also you can do it indexed. So the same way, A, B, C, you can have it indexed as well. So you have in no particular order you can just put it in unsorted and it will sort it out for you so let's go with raw and we can choose our column so let's go with a and then with b and you can go on and on if you have more to compare and head to finish now when you come to finish it asks you multiple comparison options so the one way ANOVA test the hypothesis of no differences between the several treatment groups but does not determine which groups are different or the sizes of these differences multiple comparison tests isolate these differences by running comparison between the experimental group there are seven multiple tests to choose from so you have all these tests that you can choose from make sure you know what you're doing and the reason why you're doing but it gives you kind of a brief description on here so whatever that you choose you have like a description on here the turkey and student newman tests are recommended for determining the difference between all treatments so if you have only few treatments you may want to select the simpler bonferroni test the donut test is recommended for determining the differences between the experimental treatment of a control group. If you have only a few treatments or observations, you can select a simpler Bonferroni t-test. Also note that in both cases, the Bonferroni t-test is most sensitive with a small number of groups. Donut test is not available if you have less than six observations so let's go ahead and choose let's say the turkey and it says the turkey test is used for all positive comparisons of the mean responses to different treatment groups the turkey test is more conservative than the others it is less likely to determine that the given difference is statistically significant so you can head to finish so you have this so with this is just our usual one you have your normality test your equal variance your summary table and then you also have your confidence interval and all those stuff that we have and then you can have your source of variation and all and you can come to options and change the normality test change the p-values for to reject and also the summary if you want to show or not if you want to add the first available column for residual and all that so it's just pretty much the same stuff that we've done 
and you can just come in and compare your samples and once you're done with this you can also come to create graph and you can create a graph from this you can have a box because we have three you have like three boxes you can have scatter histogram normal population plot and all so let's say we go for normal population plot then we have it this way so this is the one way ANOVA now you can also do two-way ANOVA or three-way ANOVA so for two-way ANOVA the key is you want to see if two or more different experimental group are affected by two different factors which may or not interact then you use your two-way ANOVA and then for three-way ANOVA you want to see if two or more different experimental groups are affected by three different factors which may or may not interact so that is also three-way ANOVA so it's pretty much the same but you're just choosing three different factors which may or may not affect so let's just try this one and you have these groups okay so let's go ahead to analysis and then head over to three-way ANOVA it brings about this pop-up and you can choose your factors so you have factor one factor two factor three and then you have your data so with this you want to see if these three experimental groups are affected by three different factors and head to finish so it, it brings you this and this is a three factor okay so you have a three factor and you can choose um, any of these as you need so let's just go for finish and you have your test so you have a three way ANOVA test so that is also basically how you do that okay so finally you also have the Kruskal Wallace ANOVA so for this one you use this when you want to see if three or more different experimental groups are affected by a single factor or your sample are drawn from a non normal population so that is also quite um straightforward and you can always play along with this so that would be how you compare many groups if you need it this is just an introduction to it and this course is not intended to teach you in that statistics but just pointing you to how the software displays or what the software gives you to do in terms of statistics so you can do all these statistics 